I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members. Thank you. It's continued support like yours that keeps this channel growing. And if you haven't already, please consider joining today. Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy A Hero Is Born 2-Pack and I love this set. This is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive released in the fall of 2022. It is available right now from HasbroPulse.com and it retails for approximately $67. And what this is, is a repaint, a very, very cool repaint. We've got a repaint of um, I was called them Cyclonus. Uh, I'm probably going to do that during the video. Uh, Scourge. We got a repaint of Scourge as Alpha Trion, and we got a repaint of um, Cup as Orion Pax. And, you know, I don't know that we've ever really gotten an official Orion Pax figure. We usually just get repaints of Cup, and I always think that works. I think that Cup is a very good candidate. It's a little Cybertronian truck, and I've, I've always thought that he works perfect for Orion Pax repaints. And this is no exception. This figure is absolutely fantastic. We got a couple other things that we that, that it came with. We'll take a look at that in a second. Let's take a look at this packaging real quick because this is absolutely just stunning. Artwork right here in the front, A Hero is Born, Transformers Legacy, logo on the side. And we got that artwork right there of Alpha Trion repairing Orion Pax and getting him ready to become Optimus Prime, which is very cool. Artwork continues at the top there. Just legacy logo and some of the background there. Some more of the background going down to the bottom. You could probably unfold this box into like a big splash work uh, artwork, which would look very cool. Orion Pax right here on this side. This is a very, very big box. Alpha Trion on the other. And then around the back, a hero is born. We got product shots of uh, <laughs> Cyclone, not um, Scourge. Alpha Trion in both his robot and in his vehicle mode. 21 steps for transformation. We've got a, also, we have product shots of Orion Pax right there in his robot mode with his accessories. We got him in the vehicle mode and we've got Vector Sigma. Um, honestly, this box is humongous and there was absolutely no reason for this box to be. Alpha Trion took up about this much of the box and then Orion Pax took about this much of the box. There was no need for this enormous box. They could have done something smaller, but there it is. And here we have Alpha Trion and Orion Pax in their vehicle modes and shown with everything they come included. So the set does come with a giant poster of instructions. And there's really nothing new here other than uh, Vector Sigma, which we're going to look at here in a moment. But if you've already messed with the Scourge mode or the um, Cup mode, then you already know what you're getting into. So you got... Orion Pax right here with his rifle, the same exact rifle that came with Scourge. We did not get the blast effect of this one. We get Orion Pax with the exact same rifle. And this time it's called a communicator that came with Cup. With Cup, this was called, this was like the little Energon goodie thing. Now they're calling it a communicator. It's the same exact accessory. We also get Vector Sigma and the key to Vector Sigma. So I got it all put together right now. So you got the little key right there. There's a little slot on the top and you can just slot that right in there. And then these pieces come separate from each other, just like that. So there's a little base with a cross piece right here on this stand. You can just plug that right in there and then you can plug Vector Sigma right there. I've never been a big fan of Vector Sigma. I've gotten a couple of sets that have included Vector Sigma. And to me, it's just some orange disco ball that I just have to put away somewhere. I, I really don't really get a whole lot out of this. I know a lot of people do. A lot of people enjoy this thing. Um, not for me, but there it is. It came with a set, so it's cool if you like it. There you go. You got something for me. It's just something that's going to go in a box. Um, we'll set it off to the side. We'll show, we'll show it off with them in the vehicle modes. Now, the weapons can be stored in vehicle mode the same way they've always could with their previous uh, mold counterparts. So there is... Alpha Trion with his weapon, and then with Orion Pax, there's a little tab on the side here. You can tab that right in there. And there's a little tab on this side that can tab right in there. And there you go. There's weapon storage or accessory storage for them in their vehicle modes. Right there, if it's something that you want to do. This quote-unquote communicator also probably going to go into the bag of accessories. Um, so... Um, Scourge here is approximately seven inches long. Not Scourge. <laughs> Alpha Trion. Alpha Trion here is approximately seven inches long and about two and a half inches tall. For comparison, 
here he is with with Scourge. <laughs> you can see the two of them together. Not a whole lot has changed here in vehicle mode. The head is different. Uh, but other than that, the vehicle modes, uh, I guess this piece here looks like it's, yeah, this piece here is new with the little windshield piece. This is new. That's been remolded. Uh, other than that, I think most of the differences we're going to see are going to be in the robot mode. But there you go. So you can see what the two of them look like together. And then for Orion Pax, we'll bring him in. He is approximately four inches long and about two inches tall. And we'll bring in Cup so you can see the two of them side by side. And here in vehicle mode, uh, I've only really noticed the nose piece here is new. The the hood and the windshield piece. This this piece here is new. And I thought possibly there was another piece that was remolded on the side, but no. No, it's just the, the, the hood and the uh, windshield part. Those are remolded. And then um, we're going to see more differences once we get to the robot modes themselves. So that's the two of them for comparison. But also for comparison, here he is with Titan Returns. Titans Return. All right, Impact. So you can see what the two of them look like together. And uh, yeah, the Luxus has definitely gotten smaller, haven't they? Yeah, but there you go. So you can see what that looks like together. And for the one person who asked if the Cyberverse Optimus Prime Battle Base trailer would work on Orion Pax here, here's the trailer. Uh, no, not even close. The opening on this is not even nowhere near close, wide enough to accommodate for Orion Pax. So it's just it just falls right off. Yeah, this this doesn't work. So yeah, for the one person who asked, uh, unfortunately for you, that that's just not gonna work. Sorry. Taking a closer look at Alpha Trion, he is, again, a repaint of Scourge. Now, we and in a slight retool, but we never really got a vehicle mode for Alpha Trion in the G1 lore. They only ever showed him in his robot mode. So, whatever his vehicle mode was, if he had one, it has always been a guess. So, usually we get uh, Scourge uh, retools and repaints for him, and I think that works. Again, the whole Cybertronian vehicle, you know, S Season 3 kind of introduced all of these Cybertronian vehicles, and I think it works. I, I, a lot of people don't particularly care for this. They would like an original vehicle done for him. I think that would be cool. But this also, for me, this this works well. You can see he's done mostly. He's got the, like that that off white. It's not quite quite white. It's just a little thrown thrown towards like reaching towards the cream color there. Um, and you've got purple here on the more like a lilac and some maroons here at the top. You can see his face peeking out right there you can do the face reveal if you want you can flip that thing forward if you want to do the face reveal like scourge did you can do that too under the bottom you've got these two panels here but they're not doing that these two panels are different from scourges uh but other than that yeah he, he most of the robot can be seen there if you know what you're looking for right there transformation for him is going to be exactly like it was for Scourge. So we'll flip these down, pull these panels off, and then flip this whole, these whole panels off to the side, up and over, and to the side right there. Hide that panel and double hinge this up. Hide that panel, double hinge that up. I'm just gonna go through them quickly because we've already seen this transformation before. Flip that up and over, untap that, bring that into place. Bring these down and then tab the wings right there. Coming around the front, untab his arms, tab his shoulders in, untab the arms, tab the shoulders in, unpeg the legs, bring out the feet and the heels. And there is Alpha Trion in his robot mode. Again, you can tell that he was scourged, but you can also really tell that it is Alpha Trion, which is really, really neat. And again, I just think that it works. It's, a, yeah, you can tell that it was scourged, but it's a mold. I think that it's a design that lends itself well for what Alpha Trion could have been. Now, granted, his backpack is bigger than what we saw in G1. In G1, he just had a cape. But you can play with this in all kinds of ways to kind of make it look like a cape. I think this looks nice. I also like, he came packaged with these folded up. And I think this also kind of works because it does kind of make the backpack a little smaller. 
and it does kind of allude to his purple cape. So either way, I think either way works well. Uh, the robot mode is approximately seven inches tall. Articulation-wise, all the same articulation we had with Scourge, though the head can go up and down. Uh, it can tilt side to side and it can turn side to side. The shoulders can go forward and backward as far as the backpack will let you. In and out, rotation at the bicep, bend at the elbow, and rotation at the wrist. Rotation at the waist, universal joint at the hip, so you can go forward that far. Back that far, in and out, rotation at the thigh, bend at the knee, and you have that much ankle tilt. So again, relatively poseable, good looking figure. So let's get him standing here, and we'll set him off in the background. We'll give him his weapon again. Same exact thing you could do with, um, I, I don't know why I'm stuck in calling him Cyclonus. Scourge, same thing you could do with Scourge. In fact, let's bring Scourge in real quick so you can see all of the differences here. Here is where the retool kind of shines. The wings here, these wing pieces have been changed up. Obviously the heads are different. The neck piece, this collar piece is different. The entire uh, chest has been redone. The arm pieces are different. And the hands, are the hands different? Yes, they are. They are very, very slightly. The hands are redone. Uh, they're not quite as scaly as they were with Scourge. So the hands are different. The thighs are also different. So a lot of pieces have been redone. Also the biceps, the biceps have also been redone, haven't they? I think so. No, the biceps are the same. So yeah, a lot of parts here have been retooled and, and he's been given a lot of new parts here to make him look quite different from the original mold. And again, I just really think this works really, really well. So there's the two of them for comparison. We'll set these guys off to the side and we'll bring in Orion Pax and we'll focus on him. Now again, Orion Pax, retool, repaint of cup, which again, I think is a good idea. I think this works. It's not exactly what we saw in G1, but it's really close. And uh, if somebody came out with a little trailer for this guy, I think he would be perfect. But I think this is a very, very good choice for, Alpha, uh, for Orion Pax um, retools and repaints. I think this just works really, really well. Um, so yeah, he's done mostly in red. You've got the new nose piece, the hood here in the in the windshield. These are new. These are looking exactly like Orion Pax's chest is going to look. Other than that, the rest of the truck is pretty much the same, and he rolls pretty well. That's about it for the uh, truck mode. So transforming this guy is the exact same transformation that we got with Cup. So again, I'm not going to go into it in super detail. I'm just going to kind of rush through it because... We've seen this before, and we'll just kind of try to get through these as quickly as possible. I, I, I kind of want to try and get my videos a little shorter. I can be a little long-winded, and I am conscious of that, and I am trying to keep the time down a little bit as much as I can, but I usually, I just get so excited about these figures, I just ramble on and on and on and on, and... And before you know it, I got a 20-minute video on the Legends class figure. It's just, it's really hard for me not to gush on these sometimes. I just love doing this so much. Set that there. Bring the shoulders down. And we're almost done here. Do I have this right? No, I don't. There we go. All right. Get them nice and straightened out here. And here we have Orion Pax in his robot mode, standing at approximately five, five and a half inches tall. And I mean, what else is there to say about this? Look at this. This is, it's it's awesome. It's perfect. I love this. I think this works so, so well. A lot of people really just don't like repainting cup in the Orion Pax. But again, I think the results speak for themselves. I think this works really, really well. Coming in close, taking a look at that new head. Check that out. That is Orion Pax through and through. And that new chest piece that they've given them right there, the hood, the, the window and the, and the hood right there, that really makes a difference into turning Cup, old Cup, into Orion Pax. Done mostly in red with, um, I don't know what to call this. It's, it's not quite a blue, but it's not quite a purple. It's not quite a lilac. It's somewhere in between. It's weird. Uh, but you do have the blue fists. You got blue details here on the waist piece, white legs. You got white detailing here and there on the chest, on the elbows. You got an off, very, very light blue here for the window. 
yellow details there going all the way around not a whole lot of backpack a little bit of waffling on the back of his waist and on the back of the forearms that's really kind of about it articulation wise head can tilt side to side forward and backwards and it can turn shoulders can go forward and backwards all the way around in and out rotation at the bicep bend at the knee the fists are molded in so they are not going to rotate rotation at the waist Universal at the hip, so forward, backward, in and out. Rotation at the thigh, bend at the knee. And we have, yep, and we have, ooh, we got a lot of ankle tilt on this one. I forgot how much ankle tilt this guy had. Check that out. So, now he also carries over, because it is the same mold as Cup, they did not take this out. They He does carry over the come apart feature. <laughs> so you can take him completely apart. This is a feature for Cup uh, to kind of recreate that moment in the movie. When uh, he was taken apart and Rodimus Prime, or Rodimus, Hot Rod rather, had to put him back together. So this kind of uh, carried over for Orion Pax. And this also works since Megatron did kind of uh, beat him up and uh, then near kill them. And um, Alpha Trion had to rebuild him into Optimus Prime. So you can, uh, you know, kind of recreate that as well if you wish. Now he does have his accessories as well, so we can give him his gun. And we can give him his communicator. <laughs> it's a communicator this time. It's not an Energon goodie dispenser. It's a communicator. So there you go. Alpha Trion again in G1. Never really uh, shown with weapons or anything like that. But, you know, they're accessories. And it's never a bad thing to have accessories. Now, again, for comparison, here he is with his mold mate cup. So you can see everything that's changed here. Uh, besides the head, obviously, we got the new chest piece right there. Windshield and hood. Um, and I think that, let's see, and the shins, the shins are new. These, these shin plates, these are new. Those have been remolded. Other than that, let's see, the forearms are different. These are new forearms. Uh, the biceps are the same. The elbows are the same. The shoulders are the same. So yeah, okay, so head, chest, forearms, and shins are all new. So there you can see everything that's been changed to turn cup into Orion packs. And I think it works. One more comparison. Again, here he is with Titan Return. Titan's Return. I always get the S in the wrong place. Titan's Return. Orion Pack. So you can see what the two of them look like together. And while I thought this figure is fantastic, this one is absolutely knocking it out of the park. So we'll set that back off to the side. We'll bring both of these guys in so you can see the two of them in robot mode. And we'll get this adjusted. And we're also going to bring in... Vector Sigma, so you can see the whole set here together. Fantastic set. Now, this is going for $67 exclusive from Hasbro Pulse. Is it worth it? For somebody like me, it is. Because it's Orion Pax. You guys know how I feel about Optimus Prime. It's Orion Pax. I, and, and this is a repaint that I had hoped we would get anyway out of that cup mode. Um, this is my first Alpha Triumph figure. I've never had an Alpha Triumph figure. So I like that I'm getting this. The, this thing is meh, but uh, Alpha Trion, I like this. It's a good, I, I think it's a good mold for him, good mold choice. And it's my first Alpha Trion, like I said. So, so this set is completely worth it for me to get. Now, for the, the, the value itself, this is a Voyager size figure that would have normally been $30. This is a deluxe class figure that would have normally been $25. So, you know, $55 maybe at retail and uh, it's going for 67. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a hard push. Uh, what's, what's the rest of that money going to that enormous box? They put them in maybe, I don't know this, no way that thing costs that much. So, it, you know, it, it, it's, th those are all the facts. Use that to decide for yourself whether you think this is worth it or not. For somebody like me, obviously, this is right up my alley. This is something that I wanted to have in my collection. And I think that about does it for the Hasbro Pulse exclusive, A Hero is Born set. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.